there's always a connection between like music, art and nature. What can be a better place, this environment, for doing music? I have probably like three, four hundred outdoor concerts in Hong Kong and they all kind of free of charge. Usually I get the funding from the government or private foundations. So I would go to different parts of the city in Hong Kong and just organize those concerts. Um, so in a, in a way, those concerts are very much like community concerts. So I'm really interested in performance outdoors. I ran a choir for a term at Old Bay Mansion and we just decided to meet outside every week for about 10 weeks. And it was really interesting because we were influenced by the lawn mowers and the birds and the traffic and the steam train whistle. Um, and the, the gardeners and the people who came to play tennis and bowls, they were influenced by us. Um, but actually it became much more symbiotic. So I feel it's very important to think of the environment first before I, I, I put together the program because I want a strong connection between the performer, the music, the audience and the physical environment. We're quite unusual here in Torbay because we live in a geopark and most of the geoparks in the world are rural and remote. They're kind of mountains or they're cliffs. A lot of geoparks have visual art as a kind of representation. Music and performance can explain geology in a much more effective way than paintings or photography. What I find about Tobay is like this is a town we build on those like 400 million years old rocks and and so I find that's very interesting. So, yeah, so in the past few days I've been thinking a lot about what's the connection between the human activities on the surface and what's deep under. So when I was doing all this so-called street concert, it's not really in the, in the middle of a busy street, not, not, not that. It's like very much like a, it, somewhere in the middle of the city. I, may have, I, I want to occupy a street corner and try to create something that which doesn't happen every day. People can walk past an area every day and that walking from one point to another point can become very mechanical. But if I put something unexpected and they will start thinking, say, what is going on? That interruption can kind of heighten the person's awareness or sensitivity because I think that's the beauty about art, about music, say how it can like trigger something inside you and make, and, uh, and, and make you see something differently. We're hoping as part of this to ask people to come and, and, and be involved. Uh, the idea of bringing kind of noise and sound and expression to painting. That, that's one thing that's come up in our conversations with Kung is that, that desire to, to do something which stand outside the norm of what usually happens. That's one of the reason I'm so interested in, in doing concert in Tobey because people can take things for granted easily. They will forget about how beautiful this environment is. They will forget about how ancient the rock is. So I hope by, by creating some kind of artistic activities that kind of like wake people up a little bit and to reconnect.